Welcome to History Bedtime Stories in bed in our pajamas. And tonight is night number nine of our continuing series on presidential putts. Night number nine, president number nine, we're talking about William Henry Harrison, who served in 1841 for the shortest term of any American president, just 32 days after he is inaugurated as president of the United States, William Henry Harrison is dead. He is the first American president to die in office. He is elected as a member of the Whig party. And when he moves into the White House, his wife, Anna, and he and their 10 children bring along two pets. One is a billy goat named Billy. Doesn't really get points for creative naming. The other is a cow named Sookie. And Sookie the cow was purchased as one of Harrison's last big purchases before his death. She's bought from a farmer in Maryland and brought with the family to the White House. And you might be thinking like, why the heck would the president and the first lady and their 10 kids bother with bringing a cow to the White House? Aren't there people to handle their food? Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is 1841. This is a long time before our 2021 eyes could imagine a cow grazing at the executive mansion at the White House. But in the 1840s, truly through the entire 1800s, a well-to-do family would own a cow. That cow provided dairy, could provide meat. And by owning a cow, you not only spoke to your wealth and influence, but also to your ability to always have fine, nice foods, including dairy, available at your table. Pretty reasonable for a president. Sookie moves with the family into the White House, and 32 days later, she moves with Mrs. Harrison out of the White House. Mrs. Harrison would have kept Sookie the cow because with 10 children to feed, that cow was truly a lifeline, no matter how affluent the family was. I hope you're enjoying History Bedtime Stories Presidential Pet Edition. We'll see you tomorrow night. In the meantime, wash your hands. Be kind to each other.